Okay, I'm going to talk about the future of American cities. I'm going to start by talking about my own city, Flint, Michigan. All right, the future of American cities. One of my biggest issues with Flint is that there's a serious lack of traffic. I don't like the way in which the commercial traffic moves. And by that, I mean there's a lot of the traffic moving outside of the city. And just so you have an idea what the city really is, it was it's a formal... Former industrial superpower, in a sense. It's, it used to have a great deal of automotive factories and manufacturing. GM used to have a headquarters here in Flint, Michigan. Uh, a lot of things, a lot of trucks, a lot of vehicles were made here. A lot of parts were made here in Flint, Michigan. But in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, the country, I mean, the, well, the whole country, of course, went through deindustrialization. And we saw a lot of globalization and a lot of outsourcing of jobs. So a lot of factories were shut down. So the city went into, went into economic decline. Well, uh, we now have the University of Michigan growing. We have Kettering University. We also have uh, my community college expanding as it's sort of transforming into it's not quite a college town because you don't have that college of a college atmosphere you don't have a, a lot of that uh, student life around because a lot of the traffic going back to traffic a lot of it moves outside of the city you have a lot of 20 somethings now 30 somethings or 40 somethings coming into coming into the city for the university but they go to the schools they go to the computer labs, do their homework, and study, and then they leave. You know, they go to the library, and then they leave. They don't actually spend their money right here in Flint, Michigan. Even people who live in Flint, Michigan, they drive out to Miller Road, Flint Township, the suburbs, Grand Blank, uh, man, Burton. Uh, they some people go as far as Auburn Hills to actually spend their money, and they're not really spending their money right here in their own city, and that's becoming a serious. Uh, problem. Even when we look at the, look at the downtown area, a lot of the traffic is always going on to the highways, going outside the city. Flint Township here, so a lot of activity around the city, and uh, I think there needs to be more uh, tax breaks and more encouragement for businesses and uh, and and really uh, people, not just. Uh, the middle class, but people that move into the inner part of the city, it'll be more efficient for the city if they had uh, a more dense, a smaller but more densely populated area. It'll be easier to provide fire protection, city protection. It'll be easier uh, to uh, move mass transit through the system if they have uh, uh, population centers instead of a situation where everything's pretty much spread out. Uh, that's a real problem uh, for medium-sized cities in decline. The population is decreasing. And, that, and a friend of mine mentioned uh, Flint Central turning into a big high school. That, Flint Central uh, High School and Whittier Middle School are two schools I used to go to, and they've been shut down for about a few years, and nothing's been happening with them. There's no projects. It doesn't seem like the city's really doing anything with those areas. And... Uh, you know, I think it'll be a great great idea to consolidate two or three schools and bring them all into one big school. Uh, bring uh, turn Whittier and Central into one big high school, just Central High School, and that way they can save money on transportation, uh, various services, administration. Uh, instead of having uh, two or three different schools uh, sending uh, bus routes all over the city. If they had one big city, they could uh, save money on transportation. For example, let's say there was a remote area of the city in which School A sent five kids on a bus out to the area. And uh, School B sent five other kids out to the area. And uh, School C maybe sent uh, maybe ten kids. Well, wouldn't it make more sense to have one big school where you can send all 20 kids on one bus out to that one area? You know, you save money that way. Uh, you're actually able to have a more efficient system that way. It seems to me that the future of American cities are going to have to be a lot like a lot of these high schools. They're going to have to compact and actually consolidate. Uh, I don't. I think they should do something with that uh, Flint Central and Whittier and combine it to one big school. You can also cut down a lot of the administration. Uh, every school requires a minimum amount of resources. Well, if you have one big high school, since our population is shrinking anyway, the school is shrinking anyway, if you have one big school, uh, you could really benefit in the sense that you don't have to provide minimum services for different schools. You can actually provide uh, more additional special specialized services and ed special education uh, for that one big school instead of having to uh, put so many resources into uh, minimum requirements here and here and here you can just have it all in one big school I think it's the, pretty much uh, the, the, one of the best schools that we pretty much have in terms of the actual infrastructure they say that the, the expenses of the school the operating costs were pretty high 
However, if they were if they turn into one big campus and they, they could actually save money in a lot of other areas and it'll actually be worth it. Plus they can actually bring traffic to the downtown area. That's something they need to focus on. I think the University of Michigan should focus on keeping traffic in the area. They can have special events going on just about every single day. The, the, there doesn't seem to be a lot of activity. There doesn't seem to be a, any any concerts or any games or any, anything that sort of brings any events. You know, poetry readings, not enough of that going on in the actual university. Not enough stuff going on in the downtown area as well. Okay, so what are the trends I'm expecting? I'm expecting cities to contract and compact. They're going to be a lot more compact. There's going to be more uh, densely populated cities, but they're going to uh, take... They're going to occupy less land. I think you're going to see a lot of suburbs shrink with this $5 a gas situation we're going to be dealing with pretty soon. So um, what do you expect? What are some of the trends you expect for American cities? you think they're going to be bigger, smaller? How do you think, how do you think they're going to change? Uh, I'm kind of fascinated with city architecture. I really like the idea of building uh, your own city. I like SimCity 4, which is one of my favorite video games. I wasn't really interested in SimCity societies. I was really looking for a SimCity 5 where it's just like SimCity 4 in the fact you can build and simulate a uh, city, but I also wanted them to bring it to the next level with uh, 3D, with weather, with different climate options, with uh, different architecture options, maybe a more European city or maybe a more uh, Asian city. Or, well, Japanese city or, or a Chinese city or American city. You know, I, I was expecting more options in that term, so I'm still looking forward to SimCity 5 if they come out with one. And if you th if you can think of a city simulation game that, that some company's working on, please let me know because I'm really into that type of stuff. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Bye.